Hello friends and welcome back to The Dork Side. I'm the dork in the road and today let's talk about why exactly motorcyclists wave to each other. I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy, so please consider subscribing. One of my fondest memories of riding on the back of my dad's motorcycle as a kid is every time I saw another motorcyclist I would wave and without fail they would wave back. I don't think as a kid I realized that it was a thing. I think I sincerely thought that we were just encountering the nicest people on earth every time I wave, but that memory is one of the strongest ones I have about riding of my entire life and it's something that I've always really enjoyed about motorcycling. But I've never really stopped to think about why it is that we wave to each other. So that's what I want to kind of think about today. Either A, this will be a great explanation for people who don't ride, who might be wondering why motorcycles do that waving thing, or B, if you're a motorcyclist like me, maybe you can tell me if you think about these things, if this is what you feel when you wave. So the number one reason why I think motorcyclists wave to each other is because, well, we're supposed to. It's a thing. Even if you don't understand the why behind it, you know that motorcyclists wave to each other. Even if you somehow got to the point where you own a motorcycle and are headed out on your first ride without knowing about the wave thing, you're gonna notice when people start waving at you. So one reason why we wave to each other is because motorcyclists waving to each other is a thing. It's just something that we do. We're supposed to. Number two reason I think that motorcyclists wave to each other, it's just an acknowledgement that we enjoy the same thing. Hey, you ride motorcycles, I ride motorcycles, we both like the same thing, let's wave at each other. We're, we could be buddies. We're virtual drive-by buddies because we share the same interests, right? It's an acknowledgement of shared interest. Number three reason why motorcyclists wave to each other, it's an acknowledgement that we see one another, which maybe if you're not a rider, you don't understand what I mean, but cars don't see motorcyclists. They don't acknowledge us, they'll pull out in front of us. They don't seem to be able to recognize the shape of a human on a motorcycle the way that they do another car. We're just smaller and harder to see. So it's a very common thing for a uh, motorcyclist to not be seen by a car. It causes a lot of accidents. There's even an acronym. It's a running joke in the community. S-M-I-D-S-Y. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. That's a thing. When motorcyclists wave to each other, we're acknowledging that we see each other. It's me saying, I see you, you see me, I'm acknowledging your existence, and just so you know, you're not invisible. That's the third reason that motorcyclists wave to each other, I think. It's just acknowledging that we see one another, recognize that we are there, and sort of acknowledging that sometimes other people don't see us. The number four reason we wave to each other while we're riding is social interaction. Motorcycling is a lonely, pastime. Many of us ride by ourselves a lot and even if you're riding in a group, unless you're running comms, which you know some people do, some people don't, you're by yourself and sometimes for hours at a time. You, you know we sing in our helmets. Come on, you sing in your helmet, don't act like you don't. After talking to yourself and being alone with your thoughts, it sure is nice once in a while when another motorcyclist goes by who's doing the exact same thing just to acknowledge one another, to be like, hey, what's up? I see you, you see me. We're having a social interaction really quickly, and uh, that social interaction, like I said, is just so rare when you're riding. It's a nice little moment of interacting with another human before you go back to the silence inside your head and dealing with your own thoughts for the remainder of your ride. And the fifth and most important reason that we wave to each other is because it is an acknowledgement that the person you're waving to and the person that's waving back to you has your back. Uh, you're part of a community, a shared community. It is a silent affirmation that we belong to the same tribe and that if anyone in that tribe needs help or is in trouble, the other members will rise to the occasion to help them. If you see a motorcyclist stranded on the side of the road, the first people that'll stop to check and see if they're okay are almost always other motorcyclists, whether they're on their motorcycles or not. If I see a stranded motorcyclist, I always stop to ask. You know, and sometimes they don't need anything. Sometimes they've made a phone call, but you know, on rare occasions, like last spring, I got to help a guy in a Harley who had just taken his bike out after having it stored all winter and he just needed a push start to get it going again so he could get home. So I got behind it and pushed it and it took a couple times but we got it going and he got out of there. I didn't care that he was on a Harley, right? The point is it's another motorcyclist who's stuck and stranded. We're members of the same tribe, we help each other out. Because motorcyclists understand things that car drivers don't. Motorcyclists understand how much more it sucks to be broken down on a motorcycle on the side of the road, particularly in bad weather. But you don't have shelter, right? At least in a broken down car you can still sit inside of it. You're more vulnerable. If someone hits your parked car, you know, you're a lot safer than if someone hits you on a parked motorcycle or hits you sitting on the side of the road. It's just an acknowledgement of that shared vulnerability, the shared experience that we have. Only other motorcyclists know 
how it feels to be invisible while riding, right? It's an acknowledgement of that. And only other motorcyclists know the true joy that comes from being present in your surroundings, that comes from being on a motorcycle versus viewing your surroundings through a screen, through the windscreen. Driving a car is like watching a movie, riding a motorcycle is like starring in it. And only other motorcyclists seem to understand that. And when we wave at each other, we're acknowledging all of those things where it's social interaction, it's acknowledging our shared interest, and it's acknowledging that if you're in trouble, I will stop and help you and hopefully vice versa. We got each other's backs out there in a scary world that is not designed to protect motorcyclists. So it's nice to have friends. Unfortunately, you will come across people who don't wave back. <coughs> Cruiser riders, why don't you guys wave at ADV and dual sport riders? It's so weird. I wave at everyone. I don't know their circumstances. I don't know why they're riding what they're riding, but if they're on two wheels, you're gonna get a wave from me. And I think that's the way everybody should approach it. Motorcyclists are a community and waving to one another is one of the ways we keep that community alive and thriving and interact with one another. Also, it's just fun. It's just fun to wave at each other. It's cool, you know? That's, that's a big reason why we do it too, let's be honest. So what do you think? Other motorcyclists, why do you wave at other people? Am I way overthinking this? Or are all of these things factors in the overall ritual that we call waving to one another? Uh, Non-motorcyclists, did you get something new? Did you know that there were all these reasons behind waving? Thank you all for watching, I appreciate you. And please, this is so important, do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you. Excellent!